Version 1, read exactly as the author wrote it, starts next. Following that will be version 2, rewritten using board maker symbols with an emphasis on core vocabulary. The Bumpy Little Pumpkin by Marjorie Cooler, illustrated by Will Hillenbrand. Little Nell lived with Big Mama, Big Sarah, and Big Lizzie in a great big house in a great big woods. Behind the great big house, there was a great big garden, and in the great big garden, there was a great big pumpkin patch. All summer long, Little Nell had helped her family water and weed so that the pumpkins could go big and orange for Halloween. When Halloween finally came, Big Mama called Little Nell and her sisters into the kitchen. It's time for each of you to pick a pumpkin to carve, she said in her big blustery voice. Me too, asked Little Nell. You too, said Big Mama. So Little Nell followed her sisters out to the pumpkin patch. There are so many wonderful pumpkins, it's hard to choose, said Big Sarah. She picked up a tall, skinny pumpkin. I think I like this one, she said. But Lizzie picked up a round, fat pumpkin. This is the one for me. But Little Nell couldn't decide. She walked back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, looking at all the pumpkins. Some were big, some were small, some were crooked, some were tall but none was just right. At last she came to the end of the patch, and there sat a bumpy little pumpkin all by itself. This one's my favorite, said little Nell. It's bumpy and little and ugly, said Big Lizzie. You could have a nice smiley face, said little Nell. No way, said Big Sarah. How about this nice smooth one instead? I like the bumpy one, said little Nell. Big Sarah and Big Lizzie rolled their eyes. We're taking our pumpkins inside, said Big Sarah. You keep looking till you find a bigger and better one, said Big Lizzie. Then we'll help you carve it, added Big Sarah. After they left, Little Nell sat down next to the bumpy little pumpkin. A tiny tear fell down her cheek, and then another, and another. Her friends, Reindeer, Hare, and Bear Cub came along. What's wrong? asked Bear Cub. Little Nell sniffed and snuffed. Big Lizzie and Big Sarah think my pumpkin's too bumpy and too little and too ugly to make a good jack-o'-lantern. I don't think it's too bumpy, said Bear Cub. Or too little, said Reindeer. Or too ugly, said Hare. You don't? asked Little Nell. No, said the animals. This pumpkin would make a great jack-o'-lantern, said Reindeer, and we could help you carve it. How? asked Little Nell. Like this, said Reindeer. He lowered his head and cut around and around and around the top till he'd carved a lid. Oh, said Little Nell. That's perfect. I can scoop out the insides, said Bear Cub. How? asked Little Nell. Like this, said Bear Cub, and he clawed and pawed and pawed and clawed until there was nothing left but an empty pumpkin shell. Oh, goody, said Little Nell. Now for the face. How can we do that? Let's ask the birds to help, said Hare. So Little Nell whistled for the birds. Crows, cardinals, and sparrows flew down from the trees. Can you make a face for my jack-o'-lantern? asked Little Nell. What kind of face? asked Cardinal. With her finger, Little Nell etched and sketched and sketched and etched a face in the dirt. It had triangles for eyes, a square for a nose, and a smiley lopsided mouth. Like this, she said. So Crow, Cardinal, and Sparrow poked and pecked and pecked and poked until the pumpkin had a face. At last, the jack-o'-lantern was finished. Little Nell smiled a tiny smile. I can't wait to show it to Big Mama, Big Sarah, and Big Lizzie. She picked it up and ran all the way to the house. What a beautiful jack-o'-lantern, said Big Mama. Where'd you get it? From our pumpkin patch, 
said little Nell. But who helped you carve it? asked Big Sarah. My friends, reindeer, bear cub, and hare, said little Nell. I still think it's little and bumpy and ugly, said Big Lizzie. Nonsense, said Big Mama. Jack-o'-lanterns come in all shapes and sizes. The girls placed their jack-o'-lanterns near the door, and Big Mama lit them. Mine's cool, said Big Sarah. Mine's even cooler, said Big Lizzie. They're all wonderful, said Big Mama. Even mine? asked Little Nell. Even yours, said Big Mama, and she leaned over and gave Little Nell a big sloppy kiss. Little Nell smiled. Happy Halloween. To Lauren Thompson, my editor, who helped me over the bumpy spots, M.C. To Brennan, Little Bit Mighty, and to R.G., who loves jack-o'-lanterns as much as I do. With a very special thanks to Lauren, I couldn't have done this without you. And to Marjorie, thanks for bringing Nell back. W.H. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the book, please like it and check out the other awesome books on my page, Reading Rhino. The Bumpy Little Pumpkin by Marjorie Goulier, illustrated by Will Hillenbrand. Little Nell lived with Big Mama, Big Sarah, and Big Lizzie in a big house in a big woods. Behind the big house was a big garden with a big pumpkin patch. They weeded and watered the pumpkin patch. Time to pick a pumpkin. And me? Yes. Big Sarah wants a tall, skinny pumpkin. Big Lizzie wants a round, fat pumpkin. Little Nell looked and looked and looked. She found a bumpy little pumpkin. She liked the bumpy little pumpkin. They no like the bumpy little pumpkin. They said, find a different pumpkin. Little Nell felt sad. Her friend said, we like the bumpy little pumpkin. It's perfect. We can help you carve it. Bear helps. Birds come. Little Nell draws the face. The birds help. Finished. Little Nell feels happy. Time to show everyone. She runs to the big house. Big Mama says, it's beautiful. Pumpkins come in all shapes and sizes. Big Mama lights the pumpkin and says, all the pumpkins are wonderful. Happy Halloween. Finished. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the book, please like it and check out the other awesome books on my page, Reading Rhino.